Let me ask you perhaps a fun question, but th there's a philosophy to it too. Will there ever be a Python 4.0? Now, before you say it's currently a joke and probably not, we're gonna go to 3.99 or 3.99999. Can you imagine possible features that Python 4.0 might have that would necessitate the creation of the new 4.0? Given the amount of pain and joy, suffering and triumph mm. that was involved in the move between version two and version three. Yeah, well, we're, we, as a community and as a core development team, we have a large amount of painful memories about the Python 3 transition, uh, which is one reason that sort of everybody is happy that we've decided there's not going to be a 4.0 at least not anytime soon. And if there is going to be one, it, the, we'll sort of plan the transition very differently. Mm -hmm. Because clearly we underestimated the pain the transition caused for our users in the Python 3 case. And had we known we could have sort of designed Python 3 somewhat differently without making it any worse, we just thought that we had a good plan, but we 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 underestimated where what what sort of the users were capable of when it comes to that kind of transition. By the way, I think we talked way before, like a year and a half before the uh Python 2 officially end of life. End of life. Oh yeah. What was that? What was your memory of the end of life? Did you shed a tear on January 1st, 2020? Did, was there, were Everyone you standing on alone? Everyone the core team had basically moved on years before. Yeah. It was, it was purely, it was a little symbolic moment uh, to signal to the, the remaining users that there was no longer going to be any new releases or support for Python 2.7. Did you shed a single tear while looking out over the horizon? <laughs> I'm not not a very poetic person and I don't shed tears like that, but no. <laughs> now we we actually had planned a party, but the party was planned for uh the Python con the US Python conference that year, which would never happened, of course, because of the pandemic. Oh, was it like in March? It was 20, or yeah, the conference was uh, going to be, I think, late April that year. Oh, so that that was a very difficult decision to cancel it, but they did. So anyway, if we're going to have a Python four, we're going to have to have both a different reason for for having that and a different process for managing the transition. Can you imagine a possible process that? So, so I think you're implying that if there is a 4.0, in some ways it would break back compatibility. Well, so here is here is a concrete thought I've had, and I'm not unique, but not everyone agrees with this. So this is definitely a personal opinion. If we were to try something like that, no guild Python. Uh, my expectation is that it would feel just different enough, at least for the, the part of the Python ecosystem that is heavily based on C extensions. And that is like the entire machine learning, data science, scientific Python, world is all based on C extensions for Python. And so those people would likely feel the pain the most because they, even if we don't change anything about the syntax of the language and the semantics of the language when you're writing Python code, we, we could even say, suppose that after Python, say, 3.19 instead of 3.20, we'll have 4.0. Mm -hmm. Suppose that's the time when we 
flip the switch to 4.0 will will not have a gill. Imagine it was like that. Mm -hmm. So I would probably say that particular year, the release that we name 4.0 will be syntactically, it will not have any new syntactical features, mm -hmm. no new modules in the standard library, no new built-in functions. Everything will be, at the Python level, will be purely compatible with Python 3.19. However, extension modules will have to make a change. They will have to be recompiled. They will not have the same binary interface. Uh, the semantics and, and APIs for, for some things that are frequently accessed by C extensions will be different. And so for a pure Python user, 4.0 would be a breeze except that there are very few pure Python users left because everybody who is using Python for something significant is using third-party extensions. There are like, I don't know, several hundreds of thousands of third-party extensions on uh, the PyPI uh, service. And I'm not saying they're all, they're all good, but there is a large list of extensions that would have to do work. And some of those extensions are currently already low on maintainers mm -hmm. and they're struggling to uh, keep afloat. So there you can give a huge heads up to them if you go exactly. to 4.0 to really keep developing it. Yeah, we'd probably have to do something like several years before, who knows, maybe five years earlier, like 3.15, we would have to say, and, and and I'm just making the, the specific numbers up, but we'd, at some point we'd have to say the no gil Python could be an option. It might be a compile time option. Uh, if you want to use no gil Python, you have to recompile Python from source for your platform using your tool set. All you have to do is change one configuration variable and then you just run make uh, or configure and make, and it will build it for you. But now you also have to use the, the no gil compatible versions of all extension modules you want to use. And so as long as many extension modules don't have fully functional sort of variants that work in the no gil world, that's not a very practical thing for Python users, but it would allow extension developers to test the waters, see what they need to syntactically to be able to compile at all. Maybe they're using functions that are defined by the Python 3 runtime that won't be in the Python 4 runtime. Those functions will not work. They'll have to find an alternative, uh, but they can experiment with that and sort of write test applications. And that would be a way to transition. And that that could be a series of releases where the Python 4 is more and more imminent. Uh, we have supported more and more third-party extension modules to have solid support that works for no gil Python for that new API. Uh, and then sort of Python Python 4.0 is like the official moment that the mayor comes out and cuts the ribbon, and yes. now uh, Python uh, now the sort of no gil mode is the default and maybe the only mode there is.